Hi, I'm Ronnie from The Beatsmith, and I'm here to talk to you about Vintage Tools by The Beatsmith and the Vintage Big Kick. Vintage Tools were designed for working with metal and jewelry making. Vintage Tools can be used for linking, riveting, bail making, stamping, etching, and embossing. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration how we use some of these tools in conjunction with the Big Kick. The Big Kick comes with written instructions, two plexi cutting sheets, and your platform. The Big Kick works with embossing folders, and etching pads. The Big Kick is really easy to work with. You want to make sure that you have your platform in. You're going to take one of your cutting pads and insert it. I'm going to take one of our embossing folders right now and put it right here on my platform. I'm going to take a one inch round disc and I'm going to select somewhere on my embossing folder the design I want to get. I'm putting it down, making sure that I get it in the right spot. Close my folder. I want to make sure that this side is facing up. The other side has a labeling that says this side down. I'm going to insert my second cutting sheet and basically push the machine through. You only need to do one pass through the machine. I'm going to open my folder. And as you can see, I've embossed my blank. If I just remove it, you can see the detail that the embossing folder has put onto the disk. Now, a couple of useful tools that work nicely with the Big Kick is the metal reliefing block, as well as the large ergo-handled file. Some people might like their embossing with one plain color. With the reliefing block, you can accentuate the different levels on your blank. If I take the white side of my reliefing block and sand away, it removes some of the oxidation on the higher level of the blank. You can see now we basically get a two-tone color on the blank. If you now take the gray light side and repeat the sanding action, it'll actually buff out the little scratches and give us a nice shine. Working with the etch pads is slightly different. You want to put your etch pad on top of one of the cutting sheets, put your blank down, come with your second cutting sheet, feed it through. Remember, you only have to come through the machine once. and you'll see we get a nice design on our blank. You'll get different textures from different spots on your etching pads and your embossing folders. Depending on where you put your blank is what design you get. You can see this little photo album that we created using the emboss pads and some vintage brass sheets. If I place it inside the folder, close it down, I'm going to pass it through once again. And remember, you only need to do one pass through the machine, feed it through, you'll see we got a beautiful design. You can take a metal cutting shear and cut around to any shape or size you want. You would then take your um, vintage large file 
and file the edges just to make sure you have no rough or sharp edges. So as you can see, working with the Big Kick and vintage tools by the Beadsmith, you can easily create beautiful metal jewelry. You can find vintage tools by the Beadsmith in the Big Kick as well as other Beadsmith tools and supplies at your favorite bead store.